What's oh you ready? Yeah. What's happening, family? Welcome back to another episode of Let Us Tell It. I'm one of your hosts, Marcus Tanksley, aka Tank, and the other host is Goose Bear. How y'all doing? Already. Hey, if it's your <clears throat> first time tuning in, we greatly appreciate it. It's a podcast we do every week, and we talk about all kinds of things: manhood, fatherhood, uh, coming from a manhood and fatherhood point of view, mm-hmm. black men, uh, relationship, whatever. We're gonna talk about it. Damn it. Yep. Um, straight from the horse's mouth. Straight from the horse's mouth. I have. We usually kick this off with a segment up at the top. Usually getting something off our chest. Yeah. I got something to get off my chest. Get it off. Actually, it's a follow up. This is an update. Update. Who is it? An update. I'm trying to tell you. Is it the guy that came to the house? Hey. What? So check this out. He done show. Check this out. <laughs> okay. Uh, what was that probably about like two months ago? Yep. Something like that. Uh, my mama was just real quick. I'm on my way home, driving through my neighborhood. This dude, back before I even got to the neighborhood, it seemed like he was trying to pass me. I wasn't really paying attention. Right before I turned, uh, turned off on another street to go to my house, he starts blowing his horn at me and stuff. So I just honk my horn back. I keep going. He ends up pulling up to the house and driving through past my house real foolish, blowing his horn, honking his horn, just acting a fool. That day I found out where he lives because I got the security footage. Checked him out, found out he don't live that far from me. He lives like down the street. So I said, you know, that day I didn't say nothing because I was like, you know, my temper's flaring pretty hot right now. If I said, if I see this dude, it's going to get physical. So I didn't. So lo and behold, last weekend, a weekend before, I don't know, because we we did two episodes back to back. I I got the, I got old school, I'm in the old school cars for y'all that don't know. I got Mustang uh, and I hadn't driven it for a long time. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, let me at least sp- spin it around the block real quick, just because it's been setting. It ain't good for no vehicle to set. So the way I get to my house is almost like a horseshoe. Mm-hmm. There's no reason for me to go to that open spot because it's just more houses, but he lives right there. Okay. Uh, usually if you come in from the left side or you're leaving out the left side, you make a left in my street. If you're leaving out the right side, you make a right. There ain't no reason to ever go right there unless you're just going the long way around because you done already, you could have went that way already. Yeah. Um, so this day, I'm going to get to the get to that intersection where if I'm going right out of the neighborhood, I should just take a right. I said, but I'm just spinning the block. Mm-hmm. So let me just go on and make this left and just make the long way around the block just to run the car a little yeah, bit. Yeah. I hear, oh, my God. Oh, wow, what a cool car. Oh, my God. And I turn, and it's him. <laughs> I, I, I busted that U-turn so quick. I'm talking, <laughs> Pull up, stop. He just walks up to the car and all. Oh, it's such a, what's this, a 69, 66? Oh, Hold oh up. my God, such a cool. And I'm just letting him talk. Because he don't even know He who don't know is. it's me. Okay. He has no idea. It's him <laughs> and another dude. He just going, oh, oh, wow, look at this. Oh, this is in great shape. He just talking and uh-huh. talking. I said, uh, what's your name? Mm. He's like, oh, I'm Robert, man. What, what's your name? I said, I'm Marcus. He was like, oh, man. Then he starts asking me questions. I still ain't saying much. Mm-hmm. I said, you, you drive that minivan right there, don't you? Oh, that ugly minivan? Yeah, I drive that piece of crap every now and then. I said, and remind you, remember, there's two of them looking at the car. The other guy, mm-hmm. he's talking, but he ain't saying a whole lot. I said, uh, it's a real dangerous game to follow a man to his house. Look at this, man. He, he goes, <laughs> What? what? Yeah. I said, it's a real, and as I, I raised my voice, uh, it's a real dangerous game to follow a man to his house. Are you out or in No, I'm sitting in the car. In the I mean, car. He's as close as me and you at this point because yeah, he's looking yeah. in the car. I said, it's a real dangerous game to follow a man to his house. you clutching the pistol like. So ah. look, when I said it the second time, you know my car kind of loud. Mm. The other dude, his whole energy changed. He turns around, walks back to the house, <laughs> says on the porch. Guy's like, I, I, w- w- what are you talking about? Said a couple weeks. I said maybe about a month or two ago. I'm driving home. I tell him the whole situation. Mm-hmm. I said you drove up and drove up past my house. I said you followed me. You went the other way, came to my house, and you drove through my uh, past my house, honking your horn, driving like a f-ing idiot. I said I don't appreciate that. Don't ever come to my house again. Yeah. Oh, I I, I don't remember. Are you sure it was me? I, I said yeah, I know it was you because my security camera uh, footage. I could see you in the van, and I got your license plate number. That's how I found out where you lived that day. Yeah. Oh, I I, I don't remember. I I don't remember that at all. I said I remember. I got. Yeah. I said I got it right here on my phone. 
Who is this guy black, white? What he, is he? He white. White dude. Mm. Uh I'm like, yeah. I said, I remember. He said, oh no, I he kept trying to go back to the car. I said, don't ever drive up past my house ever again. Oh man. Oh no, I, I don't recall you. You live up up through here? I said, I live where you drove. You saw where I live. <laughs> well, no, I wouldn't remember this car. I definitely I said I wasn't in this car. I was in my truck. Mm. Do you think? Do you think this guy does this so much? He probably don't probably even so. Remember okay. to do something like for him to act the way he did before he drove mm-hmm. up past my house. If my him, bah, 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 mm-hmm. this is me turning. I'm like, bah. I keep driving. For him to do all of that to figure out where I was going and to mm-hmm. act that much of a fool, and for him to be that big of a personality just by me driving past his house. And seeing my car, I know he does this all the time. There's a show. But hold on, hold on, Go hold ahead. on. So he's sitting there. Oh, well, Marcus, man, it's, it's really nice to meet you. He's like, no, I, I said, I remember it. Oh, but man, this car, I took off. <laughs> In the middle of his statement. I said, you know, the Lord said, we had the scripture go. Vengeance know. is mine, saith the Lord. Oh, he said, it, oh, it will be say. yours too if you just patient. <laughs> <laughs> that ain't how the scripture go, but <laughs> that's, that's the moral of the story, though. <laughs> yeah. You didn't do nothing crazy. I didn't do nothing and crazy. And it came right back around to where you could vent to I, him I, I and bit, let him I know. bit my tongue for like yeah. two days. Yeah. And then I was like, you know what? I, I ain't forgot it. Yeah. But it ain't on me no more. Yeah. But he, oh, I was I was going on about my business. I said, why is he yelling? Oh, you again? <laughs> yeah. There's this show on Netflix called Beef. And they, um, it's it's a man and a woman. They get into a little beef in a um, traffic altercation or uh-huh. whatever. So the guy um, takes down her license plate, finds out where she lives, goes to her house. Is that with uh, Gerard the, with uh, three hundred? No, no. Uh, oh no, no. I know what you talking yeah, about. Yeah, that one. That, yeah. Oh. <laughs> That she, one's crazy. She crazy. was stupid though. This like, is just com- go to the police station. She just driving around. <laughs> this is comedy <laughs> though. Oh, it's kind. Com- oh, yeah, yeah. I haven't seen it. I, I know forgot the Asian about. actor's name. Uh, but they're both comedian. Well, she's a comedian. I think this dude is a is just a actor. But um, he finds out where she lives. Acts like a contractor, and she lets him come in the house to view the house or whatever. He's like, "Can I use your restroom?" He shits and piss all in. <laughs> It's like, I'll holler at you later. And she's like, the hell? She going to her room. So she runs after him as he's driving off. She gets his license plate, uh-huh. and they just go tit for tat. Oh, okay. The whole, the whole time. No, I did see that. I haven't uh, I haven't seen the show, but I saw the advertisement for it or whatever. Dang. But, oh, uh, that was such a relief. Oh, I bet it was. Because like, I wouldn't even think about it. It was, it was already, I was like, whatever. I, I'm going to cross paths with him again. But when, as soon as I heard, Oh, cool car. And I turn around, I see who it is. I was like, oh, this it. This God, time. you a good one. This you it. a good one. That's what, <laughs> I ain't never bust no you turn that fast. <laughs> that's what most, that's what people have to get out of their system and be bugging, especially men, about like disrespect and all mm-hmm. that stuff. Like, it's the principality of it yeah. and me walking that's away it from was. it. And yeah. it just be eating at me. And I yeah. got to say something. There's oh, been situations got... I, I walked away from where I could would have definitely come out on top. Yeah. But when I was younger, walked away from it, you know, it was like, and it still bothers me. I'm mm-hmm. like, but even in my wise, in my wisdom today, I'm like, what? I wouldn't have gained nothing from it. Why do you even care? But I was young and foolish then. I should have just been young and foolish and then reacted. <laughs> <laughs> This man, Ma, you would have been locked up for. Uh, Probably so. Yeah. Changed the whole trajectory of my life. <laughs> Everything. Are oh, you talking about with old boy? Yeah. If you. Yeah. Been. Oh yeah. No. That. Yeah. No. Then. Yeah. That whole situation. I was like, I ain't about to walk up on this man's property. I was like, I'm gonna cross paths with him again, though. That's what's up. You got your place now. I'm saying I'm gonna see you at the grocery store. So I'm gonna see you somewhere because I know what you look like. <laughs> this man. Then his partner was like, Dang, he done cut somebody off again. Yeah. Then yeah. He done, either done done it again or oh, that's the dude he was talking about. Yep. One of the two. Because his, his energy changed real. He went back. And he sat on the step like. I ain't got nothing to do with it. <laughs> oh man! All right, so uh, thing I gotta get off my chest. Mm-hmm. I don't even know how to say this dude's name, man. Dolly. Dolly. Lama. Is, is it Dolly? Yeah. Or is Dalali Dalali Lama? It's Dolly Lama. Whatever, Denali. 
You, you nasty. Dolly Parton. You nasty. <laughs> You's a nasty son of a bitch. You nasty, man. So this guy, Dolly La Lama, because I, I, I got to pronounce the I. Yeah. Anyway, 87-year-old monk. How did you spell it? <laughs> it's D-A-L-A-I. Hold on. I'm looking up the actual spelling because I don't know myself. Dolly. Yep. Oh, I, I think I got it here. Anyway, why you look that up? I was this this guy. Um, yeah, I don't. Dolly. I don't even know whatever y'all know who I'm talking about. I don't even know what the religion is of like what what he does or who he's supposed to be or whatever. I don't know his significance, but apparently he's like the Pope for the Catholic Church or whatever. This 87-year-old man, yeah, he's a Buddhist. Buddhist. He 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 tripping. This man had a child. The kids were coming up to him like Santa Claus sitting on his lap, hugging him, and they going off. They in the line. Um, I guess praising him or whatever. He literally sticks out his tongue, his tongue, and tells the child to suck his tongue the the child proceeds to do it people whoever's in front of him his congregation whatever they is they oh, he, laughing and shit this guy should Hold be on, locked that kid actually to suck his tongue yes they got he went <laughs> oh don't even don't even i don't want to see it oh well, he I, sticks I, his I, tongue I, out he was like lick my tongue no suck my tongue the kid sucks his tongue. This is on camera in the public. Can you imagine what this guy and fools like him have been doing to these children in private? Yeah. And he's it's 87. Come out. That's, it. You cannot put men in these positions and have them have all all this power over folk, man. They going to sexually harass any and everybody. These the Catholic folk, even this is this is not even religion, but just men in power, the the guys that be trained in the gymnasts, be taking them overseas and taking them out the country to mm -hmm. teach them to be gymnasts. They be molesting the the kids there. I don't I don't see how this shit be happening and how it continues to happen. How this man ain't locked up. These Catholic priests don't be getting locked up. They be, oh, you, oh, he uh, molested five over here. We'll send him to uh, Riverside and replace him with Riverside. And then they just relocate yeah. and be okay with it. And there's people defending this fool for telling a child to suck. It's tongue. Where you? What? Where, where does that come from? What? Who? How do you even come up with suck my tongue? I ain't never told my. I ain't even even thought about my wife. Hey man, suck my tongue. You ain't never had a sucking tongue. Well, she knows. Yeah, I mean, but <laughs> while we kissing and stuff, you know, in that passion. Oh, just out of out of random. Yeah, just like oh, hey, yeah. Suck my tongue. Okay. Come here, in but, the mouth. Suck on my suck tongue. <laughs> Nasty ass old man. Look, I, look. I, this was so far from my thought process because uh, I know Angel and Kev talked about it because she brought it up to me. She said, "Did you hear that the Dalai Lama asked a little boy to suck his tongue?" Well, she said Dalai Lama. My first thought was, which one of these dumbass rappers the name themselves mm. Dalai Lama? Like the Daily Lama. I be spraying. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> the name itself, <laughs> Dalai Lama. And I said. Uh, Who? She said the, the Dalai Lama. I said, you're not talking about like the, like, it's only been like 10 or 15 of them, like the Dalai Lama. She said, yes, the religious man, the Dalai Lama. I said, he did what? <laughs> but this is the problem. Like you said, uh, this is just what was caught on somebody recording. Yeah. How long? It's no telling what all this man has done to these kids. And I said it a couple weeks ago. I don't put nobody between me and God. People put these pastors on a pedestal. People put ministers. 
Pope, whoever. Yeah. Between them and God. No. You got people that have the gift of being able to teach and coach you on how to get closer, but you ain't no different from me. We just have a different skill set. I put nobody between me and God. Jesus. That's it. I, there ain't nothing. Like, and yeah. I don't – I I know I'm ignorant on that front of not knowing obli- uh, not knowing exactly, you know, what's going – but I wasn't raised like that. I don't believe in it. Look, Pope, you do what you want to do. You mm. worship who you want to worship. But I'd be damned if I worship a man, a blood man, that's going to sin just like me walking this planet. You talk about the the Catholics. Uh, that seems to be culture. I ain't saying all of them do it, but it's been common enough. Oh yeah, to where they've been praying on these young little altar boys and stuff. <clears throat> it's like that's part of the that's the culture. That's what it is. That's what they call do. me wrong if you want, but that's what it is. It's yeah. way too common for yeah. it to not be part of the culture. And it's, it's like, do y'all expect it? They expect. I'm asking it. somebody. Type in the comment. I like does it. <laughs> They have to. Expect I ain't saying that every single last one of them done done it, but it seems to be way too common. When you when you become a priest like that, or a, a Buddhist um, monk, these guys they don't they denounce like having sex with people, right? Apparently not. <laughs> yes. Well, no, they do, but do they keep yeah. it up? But the next thing. There. Yeah, to denounce a, a natural urge <clears throat> is, yeah, I don't know. There's these. Uh, uh, real quick, before you, go ahead, go. Are you going to forget what you're talking about? I, uh, no, nah, I ain't going to forget that. Go ahead. There's these Instagram posts of men talking about, hey, this is my first day without beating my meat. I seen that. <laughs> this is my <laughs> second day this is my without second. beating my meat. Man, come <laughs> this back. is my first day. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, my meat. And it was like four more. This is my first day. <laughs> I mean, my meat. This is my first day. <laughs> he said, This is 15 minutes. <laughs> hey, man. I don't, I do not care. There's not a man alive except the dudes off of, uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, Lord of the Rings. They got their junction. Chopped out. They ain't alive. They fictional characters. But anyway, they don't mean they didn't have an urge. <laughs> they, but they had nothing. Yeah, they couldn't react on it. <laughs> you are not telling me you done denounced this, and for eighty-seven years you ain't touched yourself or touched somebody else. Obviously, you done touched some damn kids. But you, I, I would not trust any any of these religions where the men are like, oh. Um, yes, come stay with me in this one building. It's just you and I and nobody else. And <laughs> Hold on, what they do? Um, and <laughs> <laughs> um, hey. and that's how they talk. Hey. Um, <laughs> you can stay in this room and I'll stay over <laughs> here and we won't Man. do anything. Um, you have yes. to trust me. I'm the way mm. to a righteous path. Suck my um, tongue. Suck my tongue. Suck my tongue. <laughs> this guy, knows, he don't. Y'all, I, I'm. I don't think I'm not a conspiracy theorist. Shit. <laughs> Greg has been. I believe in what happens. What's the Greg truth? Greg has been eliminated from hey. all group texts <laughs> because he be sending the stuff. He be sending to everybody. Hey. We're like, you know, take him out the group. <laughs> so now he just sends it individually. <laughs> this. Man, this guy done ain't, ain't nobody safe. These fools yeah, out here. Your wives had you. Had you. Kids, they had sucking your everybody tongues around this month. <laughs> man, that's, that's yeah, ridiculous. Nah, it, it is uh, anytime I hear, whether it's, you know, uh, any priest of any religion, any higher being, any, any adult taking advantage of a ch- child, it infuriates me. Like we this up here laughing crazy. and joking, but it, it, I have to to keep from going off. Oh yeah, and going off into just a insulting frenzy and a, offending a whole bunch of people and what they believe in. Because mm. uh, <laughs> it, it is infuriating. And like I said, this is you don't see. I know the Dalai Lama has a goddamn Instagram or social media accounts and stuff, but you. Don't, this is not someone, a person, a being that you see on film that much. It's a rare sighting. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? The, the it's my first time ever seeing this dude. No, I definitely seen him before, but it's uh, it's almost like the Pope 
there's only so many videos and pictures that you see of the Pope yeah. that are different. You might see the same picture a thousand times. You might mm. see a picture of him a thousand times, but it's going to be within like a 30 minute increments of all, all that happened in the same day. We've been looking at the same picture for 10 uh, years. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so to, for somebody to <laughs> capture this on video and for it to be put out, it's like, like you said, how much and how bad does it get? You already got these grown men now yeah. that grew up in Cat Church, and now they're yeah. going back to get these dudes that are yeah. done. They're going back. Some of them ain't right mentally. they uh, yeah. mentally disturbed, and they're going back and killing people because of what they went through as a child. It's like mm-hmm. this, this stuff is way too common. You need to, if you're religious, you need to have an understanding of where you are. And if you need a better understanding, you go to somebody that knows what they're talking about with that religion. Mm. And don't put nobody between you and your higher being. And the higher being is not somebody that you're looking at and touching and talking to. Trust me. Mm. All right, moving on. Cause it's, it's, oh, oh, that's yeah, what you, I was going to say. Yeah, you going so, uh, Last week was spring break. We had family out or whatever. This man asked his kid to suck his tongue, man. But go ahead. Go ahead. I okay. was like, the hell I did? I thought you were talking about me. <laughs> uh, so me and my uh, me and my brother-in-law, Danny, we we went real deep. Mm-hmm. I was out there on the grill. We had cigars. We having bourbon. Went real, real deep on the conversation. We mm-hmm. went everywhere. Mm-hmm. Deep in religion and everything. And I was just like, there are people that would – frown there are people that would agree and learn a lot from all the stuff that we said but will frown upon the fact that we are having this conversation over bourbon and cigars while i'm on the grill it's a, it's such a hypocrisy of now i know a couple weeks ago i was talking about like the black church because that's the one i care about mm-hmm. that's what i'm a part of mm-hmm. so i'm gonna call them out on their bs yep you know what i'm saying because i want it to be better but it's such a hypocrisy of people They'll condemn, like Angel, she'll talk about she was the main one. She was always, oh, you going to hell if you do this. You going to hell if you do that because that's what she was taught. Mm -hmm. It's just like, but the people that was teaching you was doing worse than that. Not to say that that was her situation, but that's be the situation. Mm -hmm. It's like, oh, you know, our pastors, they they teach these girls to be holier than thou, but then they sat around and brag about how many chicks they used to sleep with before they came to where they are. Mm Mm-hmm. But then they teaching the girl, oh, you can't talk about it, you can't think about it. It's unnatural. Yeah. These popes, these whoever else, these priests and everything to denounce and claim that you ain't got no urge and all this. The Bible can't, that don't, that, no. <clears throat> it's all for control. <clears throat> yeah, it's all control. That's all it is. Because you don't, and that's the thing, is it, it be starting with, the men in power positions, because that's how I came about. <laughs> anyway, go on to the next thing. Moving on. I was just saying, men, y'all, man, I'm a man. Men be trash. Men be terrible, man. <laughs> What's the last thing? Jose Human. <laughs> oh, men, men be trash as man, hell, man. You don't hear about women of power having a slew of young boys in their house somewhere, hidden. <laughs> Nah, you just you don't. don't hear this, man. but uh, the the history, God. a lot of that, like I ain't about to go into the the deep history of Christianity, how it was founded, and all that, and where it derived from. But all of these religions, like one of the things we was talking about, me and Danny was talking about. I said you got you know people go off the Bible, you know the, the Bible this, the Bible that, the Bible that. There's a book in the Bible, Proverbs, that'll tell you question everything. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That means oh, even question the that. book. I need to People read take uh, Proverbs, oh, Proverbs deep. That's my favorite book. Mm. But <clears throat> it, it'll teach stuff like that. And it's like you can't go. The Bible is a, the back in the day, it was the approved version. Mm-hmm. There's been over 250 versions of the Bible. Yeah. There were books removed mm-hmm. because the people in power decided what went into that book. Oh, yeah, of course. So that's why you got to do more research. You got to read more than just that because mm-hmm. that's what they said. Okay, now nah, we can put that out to them, but all this other stuff, nah. Mm-hmm. That other stuff still exists too. <clears throat> but you got men, these men of power came together and decided let's, uh, you know, let's let's create Baptists, let's create Methodists, let's create Pentecost, let's do all of this different, all these different sections and say, ain't none of that in the book that they're teaching from. Mm-mm. So who's this shit coming from? I understand there's a history and why it became this, that, and the other, but people live and die by this stuff. Yeah. 
Yeah. Anyway, that's my frustration again. Why I keep we gonna quit going on these really? <laughs> that's a strong thing, but it's right is right, wrong is wrong. Simple as that. And there's a uh, whatever religion you who are. Who was it? Who, who was it? Um, Rose of no, I wasn't. Hell no, I wasn't no Roosevelt. Uh, Theodore, no, nah, what's his name? And uh, it said, "Do what's right, and let let the law catch up." Mm-hmm. Do what you know is right and let the law catch up. Even when the law is wrong, mm-hmm. you, you know what's right and oh, wrong. Yeah, yeah. Do yeah. what's right and who was it? Theodore? Not Theodore, bro. He was a white dude. It was a black dude. Yeah. They, what's his name? I don't know his name. No. Thurgood? It wasn't Thurgood Marshall. sound good, though. Yeah. 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 I. <laughs> One of y'all know. This, the religion situation, folks just. It, Right is right, wrong is wrong. All right, you were talking about religion and uh, not putting anybody between you and God, mm-hmm. even like a coach or anything. Yeah. Or no, mentor. no. You, oh, yeah, yeah. I see what you said. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's you know, <clears throat> since you was on that point talking about coaches, mm-hmm. you went to church this past Sunday. Yeah, you went to church right this past. Yeah. Sunday? Oh, thank. You. Congratulations. Um, <laughs> give me one topic they talked about at church. Huh? Easter. Let's <laughs> talk about the resurrection. <laughs> I'm gonna give you the, the only, only topic. The only topic. Okay. <laughs> he has some good points though. Hey, all right, off of that. There's a coach you should not allow <laughs> to coach your child, yourself, or anybody else in the United States, in this world. And his name. He ain't the only one though. Well, yeah. This the this is the main coach I'm gonna tell you about today. This um, this white man named Mark Taylor. He's a coach in Warner Robins, Georgia. Now I'm from Georgia, Decatur, Georgia. Warner Robins, yeah, it sound about right. Yo, them them white boys down there kind of. I ain't even gonna say kind of. They are racist. Yeah, we know about you, especially when we played football. All the um, refs down there paid off. Be hating on the black schools coming down there. But anyway. Mark Taylor travels up to Atlanta for Warner Robins and he films himself. See, he filmed this. I thought somebody else was just filming He's on the side. He's in the car. I don't even know on, why he play posted this. this. I know y'all done heard this yet uh, already, but. Yep. Why ain't that playing? <clears throat> uh-huh. So he's in his car and a Maybe. black girl is. Do you see that tree right there? Ro will hang you from that tree. You got yeah. to play it a little back. Hold on. You, you got to go, go back. Rewind it. <laughs> so uh, there's a car pulling out in front of him. He didn't try to pull out in front of me right here. He didn't try to pull out in front of me right here. Hey, did you see, did you see that, that tree right there? Yeah. Did you see that tree right there? Row will hang you from that tree. Yeah. Look at him try to pull out in front of me right here. Coming up here, and just got a conference with the legislature, real estate thing and all, and uh, downtown Atlanta, staying here at the uh, Omni Hotel over by the CNN. Ain't seen a white person in sight. <laughs> Homeless ones on the street. Every restaurant looking in here is black. Every car beside them is black. They can have Atlanta. That, it used to be a fun place to come to up here. They can have this place right here. And stuff. But there ain't no way. Ain't no way. Just need to, that, there, there's your... Yeah, well, it, was a, it was just a sign up there. It had Obama and all them on there. And stuff, man. So, yeah, that's all that's up here. That's all that's up here, man. And stuff is just... Crap. Yeah. Yeah. You and Boyf need to come up here and go hunting. Dude. Mm. Yeah. Mm. And stuff, man. Mm. Ain't nothing here, dog. Ain't coming up here, ain't just got a conference hunting. with the guy. Anyway. With the guy. <clears throat> That's uh hey, if this guy has a job, <clears throat> if he's working, if he's making any type of uh, income he ain't now. Whoever's paying him, they all should get they ass whooped, but prosecuted. I would get my vasectomy reversed, 
I love you, my wife, and all that. Just to impregnate his kids to get <laughs> his daughter. <laughs> get your like, yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, mother. Yeah, you know how much money I done spent to reverse this, <laughs> just so you can have a black ba- hey, a grandchild. I'm gonna try. Now I'm gonna go get it done. Yeah. Again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna try and pregnant. Who? How many daughters you got? All of them. All of them. <laughs> yeah, and hey, your grandkids. He said, "I missed that part. Y'all should come down here and go hunting." You can't. That. And he's a Christian man. The, the rest of the hold on. Everything else, other than the 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 tree thing, and come down here and go hunting. That's a hate speech. Yeah, he should be prosecuted. Dude should be arrested for that. You straight up, y'all should go hunting. Ah. <laughs> Hey, I am uh I'm a cool, calm dude. I'm I'm straight up. I'm a lovable guy. You lovable guy. You ain't cool and calm. I am. <laughs> <laughs> but for that type of rhetoric, yeah. This this jive shit. Jive. I don't know how Yeah, you old. <laughs> I don't know how somebody I don't know how I would tell somebody to handle this person if he would speak like that in front of me. I don't know. I couldn't. I couldn't tell somebody this. Yeah. Hey man, stay calm, man. You know they just trying to make you mad. You know it's just don't let them get up under your skin. I couldn't tell you. I, yeah. What nah. happens happens after after this. There's no go hunting. These n- up here. Y'all should go hunt. Yeah, it's uh, it, it's it's sickening. And the thing is, is it's common. Y'all just hearing it from him speaking freely. He was sit- making a video for his friends, more than one. I don't. I, Other coaches, I'm sure yes. he was gonna send that too. He got send to whoever he's affiliated with. Look yeah. on his, look at his friends on his uh account because he does have a social media. Go on there, and look at his closest friends. Yeah. That's who he was sending it to. Uh, University of Georgia coach, he all hugged up with him. Mm-hmm. Other players, and and that's another <clears> thing. <throat> He's a football coach in Georgia. Seventy five to eighty percent of them guys you coaching are black. That's football. It's, they cash cows. How? There's they don't care. Whoever the parents of the school, even the 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 students of the school, man. Obviously, we can't control what the high school guys do. They, nobody should play until they get rid of This dude should Look, have to move to Montana, somewhere Alabama, deep Alabama, in some swamp area to get a job to where there ain't no black people that don't that's, that's not living there. He shouldn't be able to work anywhere in Georgia period around any he shouldn't be able to do football if there's a black student playing he shouldn't ah, here's this the, it's, it's, it's the problem like this uh, this has infuriated a lot of people he ain't talking no different from any other southern northern eastern western white coach football coach specifically in college or the nfl that's true this is just the 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 uh there, there was a hole poked and we finally got to see in. Mm. I ain't saying all of them. Are, I'm not saying all coaches are racist. All white coaches are racist, but there's a lot of them that are. Yeah, we see it. The NFL is built upon a slavery mentality. Let's get the biggest and strongest because that's who's gonna help us win. Mm. Let's play them until they can't play no more, and yep. let's go and get a new the NFL combines. What do you say? Shit, that's, that, play that's basketball. The, that's the that, that's the auction block. Yeah, the combat is literally the auction block. Yeah, hey, it's don't surprise me. I'm not one bit surprised. This is just oh yeah, of course. <clears throat> I'm not surprised. I'm well. Am I surprised? I'm confused of why he would post this. That's that's the biggest confusion. Like, I don't are know you that comfortable? if he don't know uh, <laughs> if he got it mixed up, thought he texted over and posted it. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> that's the part I don't get. Because yeah. I was like, that's why I thought somebody was sitting in his passenger seat like another player, another coach. It's like, y'all need to hear how crazy this man talks. I'm sick of it. Listen, he's doing this, went to Instagram, opened up 
went to post or reel and said post. Post. It has likes. <laughs> it's a, yeah. It has comments. Man, I was. I, he had to thank you. I don't know. We <laughs> playing baseball in Georgia. Those white. We used to travel and go to like Sandy Springs, uh, Woodstock, Georgia, Hiram, Georgia, play these white boys. And these, the officials were literally cheap. That's I didn't know that until a couple years ago. And cheap. I mean, like the in strike by the officials would actually. I was like, yes, what? And it'd be obvious. The, obvious. The ball, the, my strike zone here. The ball would go up here. The catcher would have to catch the pitch. Strike. Stand up and catch. You and looking, he's striking. He, you out. Everything, man. One time. This was this is the first time I ever seen this. They hit the ball to the outfield. Everybody's supposed I, I this is how stupid they think people are. The ball go to the outfield. There's a guy on second base. He runs from second base to home. He doesn't even go around to third. What? This nigga <laughs> runs through the field. <laughs> He runs through the field. He runs past the pitcher's mound. To the right of the pitcher's mound. So let's, okay, I might be exaggerating. Exaggerate. Halfway between second and third. He did run from second. He went from second halfway and, and shot straight home. I'm playing I'm playing shortstop. The, the, the umpire is behind the pitcher. Mm-hmm. Dude runs right past the umpire like pew. And we like, like, go, go, go. Hey, <laughs> everybody like, what's happening? They scored a point. Safe. Sa- safe. Wow. There's nothing we could My do. My bad would have become a weapon that day. There's nothing you can do about it. You just sit there like, are y'all, is this serious? Are y'all I didn't serious? Know, I didn't know it was that bad. I thought when I, I knew about it in baseball, especially in like the, the school level, Mm. I knew that could be a problem, but I didn't know it could be as bad as it was Man. until a couple of years ago. Because I was like, the umpire, even if you don't want to call stuff, they be calling like outlandish stuff, outlandish. like letting stuff like that. Like this man didn't even touch the base. Yep. How's he scoring? Like I had no idea until a couple of years ago. I was like, yeah. In any other sport, I could see them, oh, it happened too fast. We don't know. Mm. But baseball is like pretty damn clear. It's yes. a slow moving sport. It ain't like football was just like, oh, it's a touchdown. Mm. Really can't tell. Oh, you know, it was a foul. Refs mess up fouls all the time and don't mm. call stuff. But in baseball, it's like, it's almost like golf. Oh, hole in one. Nick, the ball is, ain't even on the green yet. What do you mean? <laughs> we, were, we were whooping this team's butt. Somebody's mama in the back. Yeah, there you go. That's right. Uh, 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 black ladies. Uh-huh. Because we kicking their ass. Uh-huh. So you can't cheat. We just, yeah. we beat you that bad, you can't cheat. Riff, throw the game. Get out of here. And she like, she, whatever. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. like, game over. Throw game the game. Over. Man, them, them white boys. Now, let me tell you, your boy wrestled in high school, right? <laughs> and there's no, you can't cheat in wrestling. Yeah. I, man, I would, dumb Woody. He was like, if you don't call it, ref, are you going to pass out? <laughs> don't, don't, Woody. Uh, we go to state. I forgot all Cherokee, McEachern, all these white schools. Man, I used to yeah. mangle them boys. And you can't do nothing about it. Man, I mean, be trying to squeeze the <laughs> life out. Let me tell you where I used to go. Because <laughs> ah, I want you to know and understand I'm telling you the truth. Man, I used to try to mangle the crap out of them. Because they had cheat, man. Yeah, man. They be cheap. It's, uh, it's, it, like, it's my biggest. Like, I wish uh, when, like, when the whole Kaepernick uprising, I was so disappointed in us. Oh, that was. For everybody. That was the perfect opportunity to it. change everything. Everything. It's like you don't have a you, hockey will exist. <laughs> like a team sport, you don't have a team sport without black people. Mm-hmm. Not even in baseball. A lot of them are Afro Latino, mm-hmm. but it's still black. I don't care what you say. You don't have it with you don't have an NFL. You don't have an NBA without black people. 
But that's the thing. Everybody got to stand up together. Back when all the stuff was happening, people were trying to boycott the gas stations for a day. That ain't going to do nothing. People <laughs> trying to boycott Target for a day or, mm-hmm. or whatever. Don't go here the next week. The Montgomery uh, uh, Montgomery uh, bus boycotts, yep. they lasted for over a year. Yeah. Black people were losing jobs. They were not taking the bus. They would refuse to use the bus. They financially crippled the system. Mm-hmm. You can't financially cripple no system in a day or a week or three months. <clears throat> it, over a year, they didn't take it. People had to leave out of their house earlier because that was the only way they got to work 20 miles on the other side of town. Yeah. Or however long, wherever they, they had to walk. They had to be put themselves in dangerous conditions because they couldn't walk through those unsafe. They couldn't ride through those where they weren't supposed to be. They had to walk through those neighborhoods now, mm-hmm. getting attacked. They endured that for over a year for that right. And you think you're going to boycott Nike or whoever, or, Re- or whoever, this massive corporation for a day or two? You're going to not buy a pair of shoes? Yep. And that's going to do they – they laughing at that because you're just going to get just as much more when the trend dies down. You gonna make up for it? That's that Colin Kaepernick situation. I don't understand why all the players, man, man it could have, they would have reinstated Kaepernick if everybody would have said, you know what, we're Great. not gonna play for two two games if all the guys didn't play for two. That's we gonna so kneel. You gonna have money. to you gonna have to suspend all of us. Yes, <laughs> but here's the problem, Greg. And when I said that's why I'm disappointed in us, mm. because it's even the people sitting at home didn't support him. Mm. Man, you know I talked to a bunch watched. of my friends. Man, he's stupid. Man, he need to keep playing. Man, he need to just he need to shut up and sh- and, and dribble. Yeah, yep. we were saying that. Mm-hmm. I know. That's why I said I'm disappointed in us. Yeah, it, because <sighs> we did that. It wasn't it wasn't just the NFL players. It was us that did that. If we stopped supporting. Yeah, the players is just the players. If we stop supporting, it would have been a change. I think, bro. I, I don't even know who the Falcons' uh, quarterback is. Is Matt Ryan still the quarterback? Oh, yeah, I don't even. The wrong one. I, I don't. Know. I, I, don't I, I pulled away from base uh, football at that moment. Yeah, with I have Kaepernick, been. I fully support him. I got his jersey. Yeah. I'm gonna get the next one if he drop it. Might have to contact him because apparently the bots bound him up. Is the boy? Is he playing? No, oh, no, no, no. He is, he's at this point. He's probably too old now yeah. to come back. Well, you never know. That is crazy to me. This man was a top level quarterback, and mm-hmm. because he kneeled down, out of respect, you he wasn't standing or doing anything. Yeah. Out of respect, because a military veteran said that's disrespectful to the people that actually went to war. Would you please kneel? Absolutely. So he kneeled instead. Mm -hmm. And they changed it to be something completely different. He doesn't support the troops. No, actually, he definitely. And this ain't got nothing to do with the troops. They made, yeah. It pisses me off. We piss me off. Circle back right around to this dumbass coach. uh, And there's many more like him. Mark Taylor. uh, My Savannah base, Savannah University my baseball coach, he ain't there no more, I don't think. But he was old racist uh, white boy, too. Um, what was his name? Uh, Put him out there. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, coach Rigdon. Rig- Rigdon? Rigdon something. Rig- oh, yeah. He said racist. Didn't <laughs> didn't they, didn't, <laughs> he was born racist. This way he, this way he used to do He talked with that dip in his mouth. He like, be spitting uh-huh. his head. So he come to me. This this is I got another guy that can vouch for me because it was me and the freshman. We in there lifting weights. Uh-huh. He tell us, um, uh, uh, you know you your boy my beard wasn't as big right here, but I didn't shave that much because nobody down there. That's when your boy had hair. You feel nobody down there could cut my hair, so they mm-hmm. called me Wolf Man because my shirt was just out. You need to cut that off. You can't play on my team like that. Blase. I'm like, hey, whatever. I walked on, got on the team, cause I, your boy was the truth. Uh-huh. All right, whatever, well, let me play ball. In the weight room, there was dudes do. And we were like, I'm a red shirt freshman, I don't need to pay dues, there's no blase blase. And the other guys before me were like, don't pay the dues, man. You don't need it, it's just for a letterman jacket. Yeah. And the letterman jacket was like $50. The dues were like 
two hundred or three hundred dollars, right? Mm -hmm. They be, they were saying he pockets that money. So I'm like, mm -hmm. okay, well, I ain't playing on red shirt, whatever. He comes to me in the weight room and was like, when y'all gonna pay y'all money? Blase blase. He tells the the person in the weight room, the little student worker. Mm -hmm. He tells them to leave, closes the door behind them, and I'm like, oh man, I ain't paying. I ain't even playing. I'm, I I pay next year when I'm playing. Blase blase. He's like, oh, so you think you think this is gonna be washed under the bridge? You think you gonna play? Blase blase. And I'm like, are you seriously? Oh, you think you gonna pay? No, you think you gonna play without paying me? With that yeah, 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 bullshit. Yeah, right. He was he was racist. Uh, talked all crazy. I mean. Ah. Man, I'm about to put all these white folk on blast. That dude, <laughs> that dude I worked with at the Georgia World Congress Center, uh, Manowski. Uh -huh. This man said I came to work raining, had my hood on. This man said I look like Trayvon Martin. Dead in my, he was like you look like Trayvon Martin, and he's and this dude Manowski will tell you he's a part of the KKK. Oh Lord, this is in Georgia, man. Y'all, y'all, y'all yeah. white done, boys be I tripping. Done, I done work with some man. And Sam lying, Sam yeah, lying. Y'all probably ain't gonna just never see me this. being an electrician, man. I I don't work with a bunch of racist dudes. A lot of them didn't have the. Uh, the I would always hear about stuff that they said, but I've been put in situations where I knew it was racist. But hey, I don't write rose above all them fools. And, and sad part about it, it didn't get much better when I moved out here uh, from the Latino community, being in mm. the trades. I bet. Yeah, I, and I was completely oblivious to it. Uh, I had no idea. I had to, uh, one guy, uh, Louise, mm. mad cool dude. I had to ask him one day. I said, man, why does it seem like, uh, I said, I like where I lived at. I said, man, I'd be like walking to the laundry mat and I speak and, you know, see no other Latino guys. They, just said that they don't want to speak to me. They look away or look me up and down. I said, even here at work, man, I said, Couple of these dudes act like they they don't like me. He was like, it all spills over from prison. Don't pay no attention to it. He was like, it's all like stuff from prison. Mm. Blacks and browns don't get along. I said where I'm from in Kentucky, that that wasn't a problem. At least at the time, I ain't yeah, been in Kentucky yeah. in a long time. That was not an issue. So yeah. coming out here, I was completely new to that. I'm like, hey, what's up? They ain't want nothing to do with me. I thought that was. That stayed in prison. I thought once you get out, nah, he, he, that's what he, his explanation was. It spills over from prison and from like street gangs and stuff. Yeah, and I mean I don't know, but yeah, y'all y'all stop hating. Y'all just be hating. Just wake up hating for no reason. You just be hating. Moving on. <laughs> Moving on. Moving on. Uh, I got two daughters, and uh, my daughter's always on her pad looking at stuff. And just learning what the world is from the iPad. <laughs> I'm talking about everything on this yeah. iPad. Did you know in 1398 in oh. Istanbul, Daddy? It's Istanbul said, <laughs> "Man, she is learning so much." So I can only imagine when she gets 16 and of age, and she's able to just go out and explore. I'm going to be nervous as hell. And this is why I'll be nervous. Because there's this girl that drove. How old was she? 12 years old. 12. She, her, that's, her that's, and a 14-year-old friend. She got some skills. 12 years old. And she drove 400 miles yeah. to see. To meet a friend. To meet a friend that she met online. Yeah. They're still trying to confirm whether it was an adult or not. I imagine it was. I'm gonna go ahead and say it was. Four hundred miles, y'all. No, what I, I will say, I, I'm sleep after I, you give me a good hour <laughs> on the road. I'm like, I'm gone. Yeah. This girl drove four hundred miles at twelve. To one see. of them did. I don't know if they traded off. <laughs> <laughs> they were probably hype. They go wherever they going, but Stole, hold up, they just took stole her father's car. Oh yeah, stole the car, and didn't. Only reason they turned themselves in was because they was getting gas. I think in wherever they were getting gas, saw themselves on the news, and that's why they turned themselves in. Like oh, they got us. 
Dang. First of all, you gave up too quick. <laughs> too easy. You should have just stayed on the run. One of my kids steal my car, drive 400 miles away. Keep going. Trust me on this. Man. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking about. Like, what would I do? <laughs> oh, no, don't come to me. I'll come to you. Don't turn yourself in. Keep going. I'm going to catch up with you. <laughs> I think I would have to hold mail back. That's Because I would probably, there would be nothing. I would want to body slam the crap out of you, and I can't do that. So I would just go punch the, yeah, and don't tree. let And don't let it be an adult involved. Yeah, that that would be. Yeah, that's, that's my prison time. Go ahead and charge me. But first, I'm going to get your, your yeah. little ass. Woo! Second. Nah, uh, now nah, I'm sitting there laughing, joking about it, but it is you got to watch your kids. I, I oh, don't yeah. imagine. To me, I could be wrong. Could be all the way wrong. Mm. This sounds like something that happened in a Wahite. Oh yeah, co- uh, uh, community. Got to be. I could be a hundred percent wrong. Nah. I can see it could be Keisha Mm-mm. and Tyrone's her dad. I don't know, but <laughs> it sounds like. Mm-mm. I just that, but you got to watch your kids, man. I don't understand. Now I take Lil Marcus for instance. Mm-hmm. He's thirteen. Yeah, he's thirteen. He's open enough with us, and we make sure that we have open enough communication mm-hmm. that if he wanted to go see somebody or wanted to go visit a friend, he would let us know. There's nothing to hide there. The only reason I could see these kids going. Not mine, but this these two little kids going to go, sneaking off to go visit somebody is because they needed to sneak. Is because there was an age discrepancy. Yeah, because they can always plan. Uh, Daddy, me and Becca want to go meet and you know have a day and spending some time with Alex. Mm-hmm. Well, he lives too far away. Well, can we do it next weekend or can we meet halfway? That was, that was like, no, nah, I need to go. It sounded like to me I need to go sneak away and meet this 30 some year old man who needs to be, I ain't going to say that. First, myself. If, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, first, it has to be, I don't see it being a, a black child because growing up as a black child, you talking 20 plus minutes, I'm like, Phew. I ain't going. <laughs> I ain't allowed to Dang. go over there. No. <laughs> 400 no, no, I, miles? I, I know where I can ride my bike. Yeah. I can't go that far. 400, <laughs> them girls had to, they using technology, and they said 400 miles and you're five, six hours away. Yeah. They understood what was happening. Yeah. And I was driving at that age. I was off in the country. My uncles had me driving yeah. truck, hauling trucks full of wood and whatever else down to the field. And up. I was driving. I wasn't driving – that's a long time. Yeah. I would think the father or the mother, they worked overnight or they're like truck drivers or something to yeah. have to be gone. Have the vehicle like that. gone, yeah. And the, car, and the car is gone too and you don't notice anything. It seems, and the friend. They was a friend. A 14. So there's two of them. Yeah, man. That's, that is, whoo, that's mind blowing. There's another, um, video of a of a lady setting her daughter up because her daughter was talking to these guys online and uh the daughter walks down the street to an unknown house to meet a guy goes into the guy's bedroom and then the mom walks in the bedroom like what are you doing i don't this it's it's like that um catch a predator yeah i know y'all seen Thing is, these kids be sound like they looking for predators I bet it's, it's curious. How to stop the prey? That's what you. That's what it needs. Yeah. To. <laughs> yeah, but you got to, you got to, you got to stop the 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 predators. Oh, first. absolutely. Yeah. Like I don't even. I would I, sign up for that. Let me be part of the team that go in and and. I would love take that them job. Who I would love it. I would love that job. I would like. I would wear, the the wrist, um, straps that they do for boxing mm-hmm. and stuff. Oh. <laughs> so when you hit them. Look, I mean, just be check this out. <laughs> I got two friends. I ain't gonna say no names. Uh, I don't know if statute of limitations has been lifted or not. Mm. One was a uh, fireman slash paramedic. Mm. The other was a cop. Mm. So, depending on what the call is, 
a lot of times they'll send like uh, whoever gets there first. If it's like a let's say it's a, somebody's hurt or whatever, mm-hmm. they call the police. Depending on what they say in the report, that's who will show up. Yeah. So apparently it was a domestic dispute a call, right? Mm. So I think uh, the lady must say she was hurt or something, or you know she was hit. So of course ambulance gets there first, mm. and so the ambulance get there. And this time the guy that, that does both, he happened to be on the ambulance. So they trying to make sure the young lady's okay. Apparently, the guy ends up getting belligerent. Mm. I don't get this story from the guy that was on the ambulance. I get the story from the guy that's a cop mm. that shows up after the fact. They say, and apparently I didn't know this, paramedics have handcuffs and stuff too. Oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> so the cops get there. They was like, they tell him, you know, what they came upon, you know, this young lady, we treated her wounds. There's a guy, he's in the back of the ambulance. We have him handcuffed because mm. he was acting wild. They say they go open up back the ambulance, look like somebody. <laughs> Strap this dude to the back of a car and drug him down the street. Yeah, they said the paramedics beat the say? shit out of him. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he I said, know that be happening. He said we man. opened it up and looked at like, what happened to him. It was he like, met, oh, he fell when we was trying. He needs some milk. That can't he say. That oh. can't say. Yeah, man, he fell a couple of times. When we was trying to help him out. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, uh, I can see. Yeah. Absolutely. Oh yeah. I don't I don't I I I don't hate the police, man. Police do you do your thing. But I know in the heat of a chase and you run down somebody for for oh, doing something crazy, you like huh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> now police y'all be going overboard sometimes. Just give them yeah, a good nah, gut you, shot. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But even if it's a one percent, that 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 one percent can it, they can got yeah. that can cause way too much damage. Like I said, I know Ooh. cause I'm friends with a few. Uh, I, you know what's crazy? I know there was two two different women I actually worked with once I moved out here. One was married to somebody in the LAPD. The other was engaged to some. This is years apart mm. that I met these two women. They both one broke off the engagement. The other got a divorce mm. because they heard they would always hear these stories about the stuff that they be doing. Yeah, out in the streets, and they look for the the action. Oh, yeah. So what do they do? They want do they want to go to the quote unquote bad neighborhoods because that's where the action is. Mm. But they ain't looking at the other neighborhoods for no action. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So one was telling me she was like, "Yeah, he would come home and just tell me all of the stuff that he's doing." It's just like, why are you going to communities like, like that and yeah. looking for stuff like, "Well, you know, that's where the action is. You know, these guys are going to do bad. So best that best you can do is make sure you know." Uh, pick out the ones that's going to do it, and you know, if you can trigger them to do bad stuff, then oh, you that's. Trip. D- yeah, they go and and aggravate situations to yeah. make things happen. It's just like and two different women don't they don't know each other. Two different companies, mm. and I'm like, oh yeah, I, uh, somebody I used to work with. She's like, yeah, I got a divorce. Yeah, you can't be a you can't be in that profession profession being a ass white like yeah. Looking. That's that's what happens with a lot of them. You yeah. get more and more video now, innocent. Pulled over for doing just something, yeah. You know, even if it was something minor, it's just like they. You can see where they, uh, they. It's a hothead trying to escalate the situation and turn it into something that it ain't. If I'm an officer and you steal my car and I catch you, I'm I'm a I'm a bush you up. All right. <laughs> <laughs> if I come to your house and you let your dog out on me and I get my hands on you, I'm a bush you up. All right. <laughs> I'm going to get you. I'm going to hit you with, you know. But I'm not about to do no life-threatening situation. If we're in a car chase and you're driving, and I'm literally just following you, and then you just, all right, I give up. All right, man, put your hand behind your back. I'm not tripping. No, there's been, dude. I am not tripping on you flying through these streets, and I'm casually, mm, he's making a left, the helicopter like, Make a left on Babbitt. Yeah. Make a right on Ronaldo. Yeah. And I'm like, mm. and I finally get you. Why is you angry yeah. body slamming this dude? It's it was one uh recently, it was a dude in full uniform, uh military guy, Army Navy, I'm not sure what he was. 
full uniform. They ran up on him, guns drawn, yelling at him, get out. Just the black guy. Yeah. I, I seen get that. out. He was like, what is, and he was speaking so calm. Mm. Get out of the car. I'm like, and you see it all the time. Mm. They they walk up to car. You know why I pulled you? You were speeding. Okay, give me a ticket. Yeah. Like, was I doing a thousand miles an hour or yeah. was I doing 10 over? Mm. Um, but anyway, those Republicans, what was that? Last year, early this year, <clears throat> There was a bill to weed out and eradicate racism in some one of the states in the police department, and they uh-huh. shot it down. Uh, well, the the whole purpose of the police were is, is a racist. It really was patrol. patrol. For y'all that don't know, yeah, the the patrol came about when they were looking for slaves trying to escape or looking for freed men. That's how that's, that's how where it police came from at night patrolling. That, that 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 came up with these groups of men to patrol, to find anybody of color yep. walking the streets. Crazy, and that sh- still exists. Yeah. Uh, back to the girl driving four hundred miles. I hope my baby doesn't get bold enough to do that. To drive one mile, let me know yeah, what's to happening. To take my car. Period. Ooh. I tried to get Marcus to move my truck a couple times. Hey man, just all you gotta do is pull in the driveway. Nah, only time I got him to drive is when we was in Kentucky. Yeah. But we had, you know, it was a lot of room, so you ain't have to worry about hitting that. <laughs> I can't, man, I would flip the f- flip out. Flip the flip out. Flip the flip out. 400, you steal my car. I'm angry when she just make up lies because she thinks she's going to get in trouble. I can only imagine. Yeah. Who did you go meet? He's 40, 50. You know, you know it was an older guy. I don't guy. care if he was 12. True. <laughs> I'm That's still true coming too. at you. <laughs> Would you slap the toy? Hey, man, why you got my daughter nah. going for in a mile? I'm just going to let her know how stupid she is in front of her. Yeah. All right. Well, how long? Where, where we at? Oh, was that it? Yeah, we at. No, we, no, we, no. We, at, we can talk about Cameron in this picture. Cameron. Cameron. <laughs> oh, my bad. This is old, boy. Cameron. Yeah, yeah, look, you get <laughs> you don't talk about this boy and uh, Cameron. Uh, <laughs> Cameron, Cameron, Cameron. Yeah. Uh, the picture of Jonathan Majors he, yeah. and oh, but uh, Michael B. Jordan. Michael B. Jordan. He, Cameron said he didn't watch the movie because of that picture or. Is yeah. that what it was? Yeah, it's because of that picture. He said, this this is the reason why, and it's the picture of them hugging. Yeah. I didn't watch Creed or whatever. Which is. What? Cameron's too old. You too old for this shit, man. It might Cam be Ryan for clickbait. knocking on the door of 50. He might have did it for clickbait. It too, had to be. Yeah, because the thing is, like you said, that picture didn't come out until after the movie. Whether it did or not, yeah. the the when you saw Creed, the picture or the poster or whatever they put up to promote the Creed movie yeah. was Jonathan Majors or Michael B. Jordan in the corner. Yeah. Shirt Sitting off, in the corner of the ring. Up, yeah. ready to box. Not uh, this picture of them hugging up that looks like, it looked like it should be like yeah, an H&M it. Yeah. Forever 21 type <laughs> poster. <laughs> but that's fine. Yeah. Ain't nobody got it's anything against that. It's definitely the Macy's Winter Collection yeah. for men. Uh, but yeah, he too old for that, man. Come on, he ain't seen over. the movie because of that. Yeah, if you knew what these artists, Cameron, you wore pink. All the, that's what he known fur. for. That's what he known. You for. had on a fur pink coat, fur boots that was pink, fur yep. pants. Your vehicle was pink. Yep. And then the next one you tried to do was purple. It didn't land as hard. <laughs> he was the first one pink to do that. Pink bandana. He was the yeah, first. Yeah, that's one. why I blew up. Yeah. Come on, Cam. As he came around too old for that, man. Come on, That's, Cameron. That was, <laughs> it reminded me, I don't know, did I talk about it on here or not? I can't remember. Um, there was some podcast, I can't remember who it was. I think it was like, I don't know if it was Matt Barnes on there. I don't know, one of them podcasts, and Mike Tyson mm. was on there. I don't know if I brought it up on here or not. Anyway, they asked Mike Tyson, they always, they was like hot, hot boxing. I don't think it was on Mike Tyson's podcast, mm. though. They sitting there smoking weed, and they was like, the clip I saw was this is what was said. They said, "So, Mike, do you think Will Smith would have walked up on stage and slapped you at the Grammys?" You know the kind of answer that they were expecting out of Mike Tyson. Mm-hmm. Mike Tyson sitting there smoking. He was like, 
Nah, first of all, I wouldn't have been talking about nobody's wife. Mm. Which was not the answer that they were I expecting. Know. They I were not they expecting were. that. Yeah. And the thing is, is like he went on to, you know, further elaborate. The part that I saw was just like, look, I, I don't want to see me. In this, and I don't want nobody to see me, but I, I wouldn't want to see me. No, yeah. but I don't want nobody to see me. I don't do anything that to where I think somebody would want to see me yep. because I don't want that kind of attention. Yep. I know they was expecting him to be like, I wish he would. No, I'll grab mm. Will Smith right now. Now nah, he I was like, that he answer. was like, first of all, I wouldn't try to do nothing to antagonize him. Yep. <laughs> just like let's start there yeah. and they were like oh okay I know good because I just by asking a qu- of course ain't nobody about to run up on Mike Tyson and do yeah. nothing but the Mike Tyson we know now ain't trying to have nobody run up on him he ain't looking for that that's exactly what I am all about I'm not going to bother you I'm not I know in certain situations I'm like okay if I say this mm-hmm. this way it's going to irritate this guy, and he's probably going to try yeah. to do – Let me. I it's about know. wisdom. Yeah, I don't Maturity. want no problems. Mike Tyson, I'm surprised – I'm proud of Mike for responding that way because yeah. I, I mean, know Mike's that been, He's been peaceful for a long – oh, it threw him way off. That had Because it threw me off. I ain't never heard of yeah, this. Yeah, nah, he was just sitting there. He had his blunt. He's, nah, first of all, yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't have been talking about his wife. <laughs> <laughs> Cause like even when I heard when I uh, first when I heard the question asked, I was like, really? Yeah. Because to me, it was a stupid question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but that's just was you know what? Like it's just like I said, wisdom, maturity. I was watching an interview with uh, you know, the verses with a uh, Dipset and the Locks. Yep. And then uh, Jules Santana was talking about when um, I think it was Jay to kiss somebody like took his bandana off his head, like mm-hmm. snatched it off his head. And he was like, "This because I think the interview was trying to like create some kind of buzz or see if there was any kind of beef." And he was like, "You know, we they, Jules, Jules Santana was like, dude, we we brothers. It, it just is what it is." He said, "I was about to like flip his hat off his head, but I didn't want to accidentally like poke him in the eye, mm-hmm. and then it turned into something that it didn't need to be." He was mm-hmm. like, "But we were just playing, and like they just brushed it off to the side. Like, stop trying to create these situations yeah. that ain't situations." Yeah. Um. Anyway. The picture is a nice picture. It's not a boxing movie promoting picture. Nah. And I don't think it was created to promote the movie. Yeah, it's probably an article. So yeah. it was obviously article or whatever after the movie. These two outstanding actors, boom, picture together. Look at Cameron in the video <laughs> with his rings. In pink. Da-na-na-na-na. Hey, my. You know that video? It looked the it. most feminine thing I've ever seen a rapper do. Was like, yeah. And he worried about. Come on, Cameron, dude. Yeah. He, he know better than that. It was um, clean, yeah. Had it be. had to be it had for to his be. new uh, podcast, his sports podcast. <laughs> him and uh, he, be, he be suited and booted on it. Him and uh, what's that dude name? Uh, oh man, what's his name? The rapper turned preacher. Uh, uh, oh, that's a few of them. Nah, the one Mace. The one, nah, yeah, Mace be beefing. It was. It they was ain't got him. no podcast yeah. together. Yeah. Do this. Yes. <laughs> they done settled they beef and they <laughs> got a podcast they, together. Oh, uh, sports podcast. I did not know and that. And Mace, I don't know what's happening, bro. But this man hairline. <laughs> 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 they it might be, they might do it this just to man, catch laughs. First, I, but this man hair is like You oh, sure it's Mace? Man, it is Mace, man. You know what I don't like? And this is throughout <laughs> black men on TV, whether they're in TV shows or sports dudes talking. Stop dyeing your hair so oh, damn black, boy. Bel Air, do you watch Bel Air? I don't watch Bel Air. No. Every man in that show, yeah, beard is blacker than black. Oh. Hair black. It's too black. I don't want to talk about. Dang, NBA, what's his name? Mike uh, Brown. Did he pass away? Mike Brown. Ain't it Mike Brown or Brown something Brown? He uh, he used to have his hair. Not line. Reggie Miller. Who's on TNT right now talking sports? The oh girl. Okay, we should have talked about that, but we didn't. No girl saying that. Spoke. Old boy stuck his uh, hand in old girl's armpit. You, did you see that? What? It was a basket. Ah, oh, y'all know who I'm talking about. Anyway, he goes up and hugs her. Mm. This is on film. And his hand is on her shoulder. And she's like, okay, get your hand out of my armpit. <laughs> Basically, damn near trying to me too him like on TV. 
So it was so bad to where he had to make a post about it on Instagram. It was like, or he went live or whatever. It was like, look, if y'all can see on the video where my hand is, I wouldn't do anything like that. Mm. That disrespectful, blah, blah, blah. But him, <clears throat> y'all got everybody. Stop it. It just be too black. It don't even look real. This, um, this oh, JB. Him. JB Brown. Did he pass? He didn't pass, did he? I, 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 I thought, I don't want to speak it on him like that, but I thought he did. But no, let's see. 73. No, 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 no. 20. No, I would have gave his death first if he okay. was dead, I would think. But his hairline, look at this, man. Oh, yeah. They be tripping. Mustache all black. Oh, it man. just be, I don't mind. If you're going to die, die. I ain't got no beef with that. But it just be so black. Like, it be crazy. Dark, dark. It wasn't that black when uh, when you was young. Mm -mm. The beards I be seeing out here in the streets, y'all beards be super, super, I mean, so black. It's, oh, my goodness. It's it, It's awkward. Like when you speaking <laughs> with somebody, you looking at them like, what, what? But I mean, they spray their whole heads too, so it is what it is. You know, sometimes you just ain't as blessed as your boy. I'm having, his bed, you know what I'm saying. You I'm having a, a. I feel you. You did. You just you got to catch up. I'm having memory blank, uh, blank right now. I was actually a fan of his when he was playing basketball. Okay. Anyway, we should probably should have talked about that, but y'all see what it is. Oh, girl. She's big in sports too. She does a lot of interviews and try to call a man out for something he wasn't doing. Damn. Shout out to LSU uh, for winning that championship. Hey, and Angel for, Reese for being who you are. Did we we talk about that last week? No, we? we didn't talk about. We talking about Angel no. Reese, man. We were supposed stand to stand up, Angel yeah. Reese. Represent. She she pointed at the ring too. She said. Mm -hmm. Uh, but y'all don't know y'all know about that already. Yeah. Goose, go ahead and let them know. All right, you can catch your boy on IG G O O L Z B Y Building with Goose on YouTube. And you can buy what's left of my merch on reptmerch.com. Um I have sweaters. I only have smalls and larges left. But I'm trying to get some shirts out. Not sure. You gonna do t shirts for the summertime? That's what I'm saying. I, I want to do T-shirts. With that but, same uh, but material same, and stuff? Same logo, same embossed type. Yeah, it's called embossing when it raises I off. I think so. Uh, Embo, yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm trying to see if I want to do that or not. But uh, appreciate y'all support on the crew necks. Crew necks are going to come out every winter because everybody loves crew necks. But this guy right here. I'm quite sure you're gonna say it again. Oh, like crew neck. I wasn't gonna say nothing. Yeah. I was about to make sure they knew anyway, the material was high quality. There we go. Appreciate the support too, uh Tank. I'm gonna try to get these. You just see me in one. I'm there. Try, see, there we go. <laughs> you always be who you are. Uh, I'm gonna try to get these t-shirts out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Other than that, yeah. Go ahead. Hey, y'all can find me on Instagram at Marcus on the Gram, Facebook at Marcus on the Book, TikTok at Tank Don't Talk. Beard and body butter, scented and unscented that Goose don't use called Man Shit. You can go to M-A-N-S-H-Y-T dot com and check that out. <laughs> hey, if you're listening, you can watch this on YouTube, Tanksley TV. And if you're watching, you can listen to this across all streaming podcast platforms. Make sure you rate, review, and then uh, we should start doing a comment of the week again just to make me go back and look at the comments. We Yeah, I... Oh, yeah, we can do that. I like doing that. Yeah. I like reading the comments. I just don't be mentioning most of them. I don't be reading them. And I'm also about to make a T-shirt. It's going to be suck my tongue. <laughs> it's going to blow up. It's going to blow up? Blow up. It's going to. And dang. Yeah, it's just going to say suck my tongue. But, yeah. All right, fam. On that note, we out. Holla back at y'all. <laughs>